Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. I'm in a lot of pain today from my TOS or thoracic outlet syndrome. It's my disability and um, I'm not sure exactly what I did, but I'm in more pain than I have been in quite a while from this. And I'm thinking what might have flared me up is I was rolling around against the wall uh, on this lacrosse pole. Uh, with my shoulders on it the other night and I might have put too much pressure on everything and uh, caused a flare up. Also I've been fishing for the last couple of days. Maybe I overused my arms doing that. The thing with TOS is sometimes you just don't know what you did really. I mean sometimes if you did something sort of out of the question you know exactly what you did and you expect it but there's other times where you really don't know what you did. You're just in pain and you're not sure kind of what caused it, what got you flared up. So what does my pain feel like? You know, what are the symptoms? And these are just my personal symptoms. I'm sure they vary from person to person, but for me, it's just tension, muscle tension in this part of my chest, really bad in my upper back, in the sides of my neck here, all the way up into my face, these muscles in my cheeks right here are really tight. I can feel knots right there. It's been uh, quite a while since I've had that pain and tension in my face like that. Um, I got pain in my elbows are really tight. My fingers are stiff. You can see inflammation in my thumb. Both my thumbs, both my arms hurt. They just, uh, they just feel tight. It's not like Intense pain is just, I would describe it as like muscle tension and it's just throughout my whole upper body. It kind of goes down through my ribs, kind of goes around the back of the ribs. Um, and my hands are cold too. Um, when I get a bad flare up, my hands get ice cold. I've, um, you know, shook hands with people and stuff and they're like, wow, your hands are so cold. And I've even checked it check them with a quick read thermometer that I use for cooking and sometimes they can be like 15 20 degrees colder than what my wife's hands are so there's just when everything gets tied up here I guess it kind of maybe interferes with the circulation and the blood flow and the hands just get ice cold like in, <laughs> in cold days and cold weather my hands turn purple so uh, yeah that's one of the symptoms there it's like um, it's really hard to explain this stuff to people and people, you know, if you're like me, people look at you and they're like, well, you don't look like you're in pain, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, it's on the inside. People, people say that all the time. If they've never been in chronic pain, they just don't get it. So, um, yeah, it's been kind of a long time since I had a flare up this bad. So I thought it would be a good time to make a video, even though making a video is the last thing I feel like right now. I didn't feel like cooking, I didn't feel like fishing, and I thought, you know, you kind of forget how it is when you have a bad flare-up until you have one, and then you're like, oh man, why did I do all that? And it's like, I've done, I mean, I've had uh, thoracic outlet syndrome for like 36 years now, and it's always been that way. You'll get this little streak where you're doing a little better, and you're doing pretty good, and you're thinking, wow, maybe it's, maybe it's going away, or maybe, you know, it's... It's getting better and then sooner or later you always do something you get a flare-up and then you're like oh man now I know why I avoid doing this or that because I forgot how bad the pain is and how uncomfortable it is when I get a flare-up and that's kind of how it is been with me this time I've been kind of pushing the envelope haven't really uh, had a flare-up so I've been trying to do a little more a little more and now I'm realizing how it is I mean just using my hands to do anything uh, makes my shoulders, my arms just really hurt. I mean, to lift anything. My crockpot's sitting on the counter right there because just picking that up to put it away is, it'll make me hurt for a while after. Even the little cast iron skillet that I use to cook in, cooked my breakfast in that, you know, in my toaster oven, and even that. You know, lately it hasn't been bothering me that much to pick that up, but when I'm flared up like this, it just makes my arms and shoulders 
just really hurt afterwards, just anything with any weight to it. So um, um, I hope that's helpful for anyone kind of trying to figure out what the symptoms are. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.